is Cheney. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today I have a review for you, and this review is on the Fire Sermon, and this is by Francesca Haig. I got this uh, through NetGalley uh, for review. Uh, it was released on March 10th. I didn't quite make it in time. Um, I finished this book last night. This is a YA dystopian sci-fi-ish kind of book. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. And one of the reasons why I think I liked it so much is because it's not, it doesn't feel like a normal dystopian because it's, it's different. You know, in dystopian novels, you got the evil government who's oppressing the people in this world. And they say you can do this and this and this and that kind of stuff. In this dystopian, you have two separate classes. You've got the alphas and you've got the omegas. So you've got the alphas who are oppressing the omegas. It's not one specific government. There is an antagonist that's kind of in charge, a couple antagonists that's kind of in charge of the alphas. But it's not in like a government format. So what this story is about is, this is, uh, is kind of post-apocalyptic too. It's after this big blast and things were changed. So now when families have babies, they have twins. There's always going to be one boy and one girl. And between this boy and girl, you're going to have one alpha and you're going to have one omega. At a certain point, they're going to come to a split. And it's going to be easily recognizable because the omega has some kind of deformity where the alpha child is perfect and beautiful. So the family, after the split comes, takes this Omega child and pushes them out and they go to some refuge, you know, that's for Omega race or this race of people. And they don't ever see their families again. And there is this very unique connection between these twins. As you know from a lot of twins, they can almost feel the pain of the other. Or they can, you know, like sympathy pains. Or, you know, they've got this tight connection where they know what the other one's thinking or that kind of stuff. Well, in this story, they, in the beginning, they are born together and live together, but they also will die together. So if one happens to the Alpha, happens to the Omega, and vice versa. So we have Cass and we have Zach. Cass and Zach are born, one boy, one girl, one Alpha, one Omega. Cass is our Omega, but she has no deformities. So she's able to keep the split from coming for quite a while. She has a secret, and her brother Zach is trying to expose that. So I'm not going to tell you what the secret is, because I think it adds a little bit of mystery to the story. You'll find out relatively early in the story what the secret is and what makes her Omega. So the split comes and Cass is cast out from the family at the age of 13 and is sent away and then Zach turns into um, a power and kind of Cass is a power and these two are going to, are going to um, determine the outcome of this world. This book was ended like there is going to be a sequel. There's no way that there is not going to be a sequel to this book. I really, really enjoyed it. It was really fast-paced. It was really engaging. I think it had great imagery. So it made this whole thing, this whole area they're living in, it made that more realistic. And um, it made the characters in the story realistic. And you could almost imagine that this is the kind of world there would be post-apocalyptic. Um, it, you know, the realism is not there when you think about, okay, well, all of a sudden these people haven't, everybody's having twins. You know, there's not really any realism in that. But as you're reading it, you can almost imagine it. And I really liked that. I really liked the, the difference in this dystopian from other. I don't read many dystopians because... They're all so alike. And I just thought this one 
had something different. Um, I ended up rating this book a four star. It would have got a five star, but I had an issue with Cass. I found Cass to be kind of whiny. Um, I didn't see her grow as well as I would like to have seen her grow. So if in later books, if it's going to be a series, I would like to see more development on her. Near the end of the book, or the last chapter of the book, you could see that she, she gained a little bit of strength. But she was just whiny because, oh, this is my fault, or I did this, you know. And she's got people telling her, no, you are a strong person, you know, you did this, this, and this. And even with all these people telling her, she still didn't get it. And that just kind of bugged me. I wanted Cass to be a lot stronger than she was. Um, there is a whole lot of different characters in this book that are really well created. And um, I think that Zack is better developed than what Cass is. I think the role of Zack is shown well in his character. We'll just say that. And um, the antagonists are great. And, and I just, I, I liked the whole book. I, I enjoyed it. I think it was nice, fast-paced, easy to read action from page one. So I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this book's already been released on March 10th. So go check it out. All of my written reviews, I will link in the description box below so you can read them as well. If you've already read this book, let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.